What I suppose got me into cricket in the first place was being from Yorkshire. Um, everybody loved cricket. Everybody supported cricket. Local village sides would get sort of 50 or 100 people watching. I got into cricket, if that's the right phrase, um, by virtue of having a neighbour in Buckinghamshire when I was tiny. Uh, they lived in a village only a few miles away, but they were good friends of my parents. And he was called Oliver Popperwell. He, he, he was president of the MCC here some years ago, and his son Nigel, who was almost exactly my age, played for Somerset. Uh, obviously not when I was five or six, and he was five or six, but he went on to. Well, I pretty much got into cricket by being a broadcaster. I'm not going to lie, as a young girl growing up in Scotland, there isn't much hope for making me into a cricket fan. As the daughter of a footballer as well, but my dad loves all sports. My family are from Yorkshire and Scotland, so it was luckily my Yorkshire granddad who followed his little local team in the villages. He very much made sure that if I was going to love football, I had to love all sports and had to have an appreciation of cricket. I got into cricket very, very young. I, I would say about six or seven. I remember the first memories were definitely listening to Test Match Special, definitely watching it on the BBC actually, back in the old days. I guess I would have been sort of eight, nine, ten year old, that sort of age. My dad would take me to the Horton Cricket Club and uh, occasionally to the county ground in Northampton. So that's where my love of cricket originally came from. I just seem to remember sort of Sunday drives in the country. You'd see a cricket match in a, in a village somewhere, because cricket's all over Yorkshire, of course. And we'd just pull up and uh, mum and dad would fall asleep in deck chairs. We'd sort of muck around on the, on the boundary. And um, there's some I mean, stunning little grounds. As time went by, I would watch television on uh, uh, you know, long summer afternoons, much to the annoyance of my father, and became very hooked on the sort of 70s teams that included Tony Gregg and uh, Alan Knott and Derek Underwood. <laughs> I remember as a kid, I definitely wore the full kit to go, and my dad would have to sit with me on the train. <laughs> I'd be there in my big sun hat, because I really liked Graham Hick. I wanted to be like Graham Hick because he was tall and a batsman and he wore a sun hat. I thought it was really cool. Before I got to England, I hardly knew about the game, uh, that it was even played. Um, and once I got into it, uh, the skill that's required to play it and all the strategy, uh, strategies you need, especially in Test cricket, um, you know, made me yeah, kind of fall in love with the game and uh, I've followed it ever since. My dad and I used to play regularly uh, on the back lawn and he would spin bowl to me and uh, always criticise me for being stuck in the crease. <laughs> so, uh, no, I never play cricket uh, myself regularly, but I used to love to go with my dad. And the big thrill, of course, in those days was that uh, between innings, you could, uh, or the kids could get out on the outfield and put the coats down and, and have their own game. Uh, it was a trip to the Scarborough Festival once a year to see a game there. It was just how you grew up. And then by 1978, I remember watching a test against, the, against Pakistan. I can't remember which the ground, I think it might have been Trent Bridge. And I saw this young player for England swing the ball like that. I'd never seen anything like it. And, and this was bad television, they only had the camera at one end, so it, the bowler was either running up and doing that or he was coming towards you and doing that because they didn't swap round and it sounds silly. But this guy, who was called the in person, uh, really appealed to me. Three years later, famous Ashes series that he won and that was a supreme moment for any cricket lover in England at the time, I think. Um, it was joyous. It was a, a time when cricket, uh, I think, erupted out of its old slow rhythms, which had a, a pleasant charm to them, and became the modern roaring game of tension and excitement that I find even more remarkable now. I loved playing it. I really got into playing it, and I played to a, a decent-ish standard, played for Hertfordshire, and uh, was captain of my school first 11 and stuff. So I, I really, I loved it. That was my life. Those were my teenage years, really. Girls didn't factor into it at all. It was, it was cricket. That was all it was. For more great content from the home of cricket, please do subscribe to the Lord's YouTube channel.